Welcome back everyone, I'm Doug McDonald. We're still working on the Queen Ant Pro CNC from Yu Yong Industries. Um, a bunch of my videos got deleted for some apparent reason um, while I was doing the wiring and setting up all the cables and mounting all the stuff down below that you see there. Uh, I'll, show, I'll bring you in and give you a quick lowdown. And same with the proximity sensors. Don't know what happened, but uh, anyways, I'll bring you in and then we'll get to hooking up the interface and controlling the CNC with the open build interface and we're going to get our max dimensions figured out um, for the spoiler work. So let's get to it. So here's the temporary home as of right now for my VFD, my coolant, my open builds controller there. You can see all the wiring is coming out. Um, goes underneath the table and up through the back there. Um, I got the proximity sensors attached for homing. And on there, they take more than uh, um, six volts. So if you're gonna wire these up with an Arduino, um, you need an alternative power source with a resistor and all sorts. Um, but with the open builds controller, there is a, a jumper pin inside the box itself that you can set to zero to 10 um, or 10 volts um, that we adjusted back in the one of the earlier videos there. Um, so there's the X, there's the Z there, and there's the Y. Um, so we'll get the interface hooked up here and we'll get this thing moving, see what our uh, final dimensions are for uh, cutting. So got the interface here and it comes with a cable there. Uh, it's a four pin cable. One end is for your interface, um, the one with the, the connection there. So that's clipped in there. Go ahead and hook this up to the controller. This is going to be mounted and the cable is going to eventually come out the front. Um, so if you look on the back side of your um, ca uh, cable that goes to your open builds controller, it gives you your 5 volt, your ground, your RX and TX, and they're labeled on the controller there. Um, so you just have to line it up. down in. So we'll turn this bad boy on. Oh, we'll turn our power cable on or power box on. So we got power to everything there. VFD will kick on. Pump is going. Um, I might run in like a, an IOT relay off of this eventually when they come available um, so that it turns on the pump just when it uh, I run a G code. Um, so we got the controller or the interface here and we'll just jog the machine with the Y here. So I'm actually going to take it back close there and I'm going to home all the devices, all the axis here. So I'm going to click, take that off, there's the home all axes, so the X just homes, now it's doing its uh, micro homing, now the Y is heading back there, and you can see in that back corner once it gets into range, the, there will be a light on the back that engages. And because all my videos got deleted, you want the proximity switch to be within four mil of your um, your axis there. So now we got it at home. We're gonna zero all, uh, set zero, and we're gonna zero all, so okay. So all of them are zeroed, and now we're gonna get our uh, what our final dimensions are for our spoiler board here. So I'm gonna, okay, I got my spoiler board cut. 
Um, I'm going to mount it with uh, drop-in T-nuts in the four corners there. So this one's going to stay on permanently. And then I'm going to have strips of another one on top. And they're going to be anchored with screws. And I'm going to have the sliding um, T-bar for clamping. Um, but it's going to get mounted on this one. So I had to move this one here an inch in to make it that what I have what I cut for the spoiler board um, so it mounts perfectly so we're gonna get this uh, mounted all right I completely changed my mind on what I'm going to do um, just because there's not a lot of room um, for another section of MDF and then you got to put your work piece on it you're going to have like nothing um, so this is going to be the main surface board um, I'm going to put some more screws in it here to mount it um, and then I'm going to come get a a tool path made up and these are going to drop in and slide into it for clamp uh, hold down um, but I will surface the board first um, that's going to be in another video um, I'll show coming up with the tool path to do the surfacing um, just so you guys can get an idea of uh, the surfacing tool path within Vectric V Carve um, so that's the end of this video um, it's kind of last minute change on what I wanted to do, but it is what it is. And that's, that's the kind of issues you run into when you're, when you're having to deal with this stuff. So, um, kind of play it by ear and, uh, learn as you go. Right. So thanks for watching this video. Um, stay tuned for the next video. Um, we'll be doing the surfacing of the waste board and probably putting, uh, these T tracks in as well. Thanks. Bye.